क्लास नाइन लाइट्स एंड एंगल्स एक्सरसाइज सिक्स पॉइंट टू क्वेश्चन नंबर वन तो क्वेश्चन यार इसे फिगर गिव एन इन योर क्वेश्चन ए बी एंड सी डी आर पेयर ऑफ पैरेलल स्ट्रेट लाइंस एंड एन अदर स्ट्रेट लाइन इंटरसेक्ट्स द टू पैरेलल लाइंस एंड यू आर गिवन दिस एंगल फिफ्टी डिग्री This is fifty degree. This is hundred thirty degree. This is termed as x, and this is termed as y. You are to find x and y. So we have previously discussed that vertically opposite angles are equal, corresponding angles are equal. and also alternate angles are equal here we see x and y are alternate angles so x and y will be equal why x and y are alternate and as because corresponding angles are equal this one is equal to this one and this one is equal to this one so x and y are alternate angles both will be equal so what will be y vertically opposite y is vertically opposite and what will be x x will be adjacent some of the adjacent angles 180 degree so it will be 130 degree again y is opposite of 130 so vertically opposite angles are equal so y is 130 again x and y are alternate angles so x and y are equal so x is also 130 we have angle x is equal to angle y alternate angles now y is equal to angle y is equal to 130 degree vertically opposite angle vertically opposite angles therefore x is equal to y is equal to 130 degree both x and y are equal x and y are equal alternate angles and y is opposite vertically opposite to the 130 degree so y is 130 degree ultimately x is equal to y is equal to 130 degree this was your question number 1 then question number 2 there are three parallel straight lines figure is given in your book three straight lines there are three straight lines a b c d e f and the lines are intersected by another straight line given this is x this is your y and this is z y is to z is given 3 is to 7 given y is to z is equal to 3 is to 7 you see x and z are alternate angles so x is equal to z 
but y and z ratio of y and z is given now y is equal to this one suppose this is uh, this is the point p and this is the point q and this is r So y will be opposite to dqr, vertically opposite angles are equal. Angle dqr is equal to y. Now ultimately this is y. Now sum of these two, the internal angles, when two parallel lines are intersected by another line, then sum of the two internal angles will be 180 degree, sum is 180 degree. Therefore y plus z is equal to 180 degree. And the ratio of y and z is 3 to 7. So what is y and what is z? You have to find x. To find x, you have to find z. z is equal to x. Now what will be z? z will be 7 by 7 divided by 3 plus 7. z is equal to 7 divided by 3 plus 7 into 180 degree. As because sum of y and z is 180 degree. So 3 plus 7 is 10, 180 by 10 is 18, 18 into 7 is 126. So 126 degree is z, ultimately we get x is equal to x is equal to z why these are alternate angles and the value of z is 126 degree Thus, we have found out the value of x is 126 degree.